Welcome to 1328 in Henford on Bagley. You can see I have my little assistant here with us today. Um, I also have a new mic, so please let me know if any of the sound stuff needs fixing, updated, just like always drop a line to me if you have any trouble hearing. So welcome back to the Wortham household. We are still in the dead of winter and I do figure out what's going on with the trash situation. So I yeeted those defaults because they haven't been updated yet. We also have Gregoria kind of glitching. So the game is convinced that Gregoria is an infant and poor Gretchen is of course outrageously depressed. So we do spend a lot of time in this episode trying to get out of the house because the winter blues are upon us all, especially after Sigrid's death recently. So I send Shaywin out to have a little bit of fun to the tavern once more, and I'm hoping things go a little bit better. We end up meeting this girl named Nomi Watson, and I think she's absolutely adorable. And now that Shaywin is a preteen, you know, it's about time we start considering a marriage. Um, his mortality rolls are pretty good, so it's not like we need to kind of like crank out babies immediately like it was with Aureliana but that is just something we wanna kinda of keep in the back of our mind. So he and um, Nomi actually get along pretty well, except for the fact that he's a little erratic. She turns out to have the caregiver personality type, which is actually just like really lovely. Um, it's I think it's a kind of nice foil to the relationship that Shaywin has with the rest of his household where he's kind of taking care of most of the kids, he's taking care of most of the house. I decide to try and give her a romantic gift, but we only have garbage in our, <laughs> in our inventory. But something really cool happened and it turned out that these two are actually soulmates. So he unintentionally just discovered that he has a soulmate and her name is Nomi and so, it was really exciting because I had just started playing with the Soulmates mod and I can link that for you guys in the Discord if anyone is curious about this mod. Um, so I don't really know fully how it works. Andre, our heir, is a very energetic little child and Celestina also seems to really be enjoying fitness so we let her, we, we let her like that. We have pretty much a steady diet of bread, cheese, and eggs in this household. Like we are kind of struggling when it comes to food. And so we're sort of at the end of our fridge's capacity at the moment, but we nonetheless let Nomi come over quite often. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of food to, you know, offer her. Um, you can see that Shaywin is not exactly happy. I think he's kind of in denial that he's found his soulmate because Shaywin actually has the villainous Valentine, uh, like aspiration so like the whole thing that we had planned on doing with Shaywin's teenhood was just like letting him date around and he's not really getting that opportunity since he found his soulmate if he had a longer lifespan and this were a couple generations later I would say you know what we can just put the romance on pause and come back to it we can like throw in some plot but because life expectancies in this era of the game are so bad, I don't really feel like we have the luxury of kind of focusing in on it. They're going to make it very hard on me to actually get them to be romantic with each other. So it turns out they might just take a while anyway. <laughs> So that's unfortunate. He also perceives her as basic looking. So it's not even like he's that attracted to her. <laughs> so the fact that they're soulmates, I think is super, super interesting. It's more of a personality dynamic here. So we'll come back to that a little bit later. Oh, he's feeling forlorn. I'm sorry, dude. I mean, I think that's kind of the the phase of everyone in this house. So Shaywin's just kind of struggling a bit. He, as you recall, has experienced a lot of death in his family. He only has one living full sibling and that is actually not even a full sibling. He has, he has only one living half sibling and that's Gwenlian. Um, so he just kind of sits with his mom Gretchen and they just kind of experience the horrors of 
middle-aged life together in um, in a spare room yep. that we have. We also just don't like have a lot of space and I forget that the spare room even exists. And so he ends up sleeping on a cot in uh, Shaywin and Frederick's room, which is a little bit depressing, not gonna lie. He and Gretchen wake up constantly. I cannot keep them asleep to save my life. I do not know what the issue is, but I'm guessing that they're both really struggling with their mental health. Um, we started off the episode with both of them having very sad moodlets, and that doesn't exactly change for a couple days. So because Shaywin likes art, like that's one of his personality traits, I decided that maybe we get him an easel. I wasn't originally going to do this because they are pretty lower class and I figured that using an easel, you know, would just, it, I'm not sure it fit class wise, but there were plenty of poor painters, so we're going to let him be a poor painter if he wants. Winterfest is finally upon us. Hi, Annie Banani. And we decorate the house a little bit with some kind of bare bones stuff. The only thing we can even make is a grand breakfast and so we celebrate Winterfest at breakfast, which is not exactly how I was planning to do it, um, but we'll maybe be able to scrounge up something for dinner. I don't know, we're gonna try. And poor Gwenlian is a mess. Like we cannot keep this toddler clean. I feel so bad for her. Like this, in, if this were the modern era, CPS would have been called on this family so, so many times. It's actually really tragic. But we all sit together. Um, we don't actually have enough chairs, but everyone sits together to enjoy their grand breakfast. And when it comes to the grand feast, those are really the only ones that I let my sims use, like the regular cooking interactions as opposed to the yield cookbook. I don't think there is a like grand meal aspect to the yield cookbook, but if I'm wrong, please correct me because I would love to be enlightened. If not, that would be an absolutely fantastic aspect to add to the mod. So I do let them decorate the tree. This is a really low poly tree. It looks pretty bad. And since it is a holiday, I decide to have our soulmate come back over for Shaywin. So today's episode really is kind of focusing on Shaywin and he's just he's had it so rough like he deserves love and i want to give it to him but he is proving so challenging we'll see how long annie lasts so we do light some candles to kind of commemorate the evening together um Nomi's really the only guest that we have we don't know a lot of people in town and i mean aureliana's died like we could have invited over um what's his name, Art Fleming, Aureliana's husband, but Aureliana's dead and Art's daughter is still a toddler. So I just, I didn't want to kind of add to the chaos by bringing another toddler over. And they, he lives with his step siblings. And so they've got like a huge family over there anyways. And Gretchen, of course, true to personality, gets literally nothing but sadness and lies for Winterfest. I feel so bad for her. Like, why does the game hate Gretchen so much? I really don't know. Just handing things to my daughter that she already has. Um, it's at this point I realize we've completely run out of food and we have literally nothing but milk in our fridge. So for Winterfest dinner, we're having gruel. Everyone's favorite meal, gruel. I feel so bad. At least the kids are getting some stuff from Father Winter. Um, otherwise, this would just be the saddest Winterfest ever. I mean, it's already pretty tragic. Like, they don't really have a lot of money, and I, I, I went kind of bare bones on the decorations. I mean, honestly, they're lucky I gave them a tree. But I love the decorating the tree aspects. I figured that we could, you know, use, like, the popcorn and cranberries, even though... I was really like disappointed when I actually went in and looked at the textures. Also, the scourge of monsters under the bed finally brings me to the point of desperation and we disable it, thank god. And unfortunately we're also, we have two um, chickens that are elders now, so once I get those notification pop-ups, I am trying to actually like, you know, sell them for or trade them for meat. So we go ahead and we sell one of them just because I want to still have some chickens and we only just now got the notification that it's turned into an elder. I also had this brilliant idea inspired by this cottage. 
to make an entirely crocus yard instead of grass. Um, it's gonna look terrible. I, I realized this a little too far into the project. So now we just have crocuses everywhere and it's the middle of winter. I mean, it's like we should have planted the crocuses in the fall, right? Like realistically. And poor Gregoria, so she lost her twin Sigrid recently and I think she's kind of struggling to cope because very often I find her just around the house following other family members. Um, so it's, it's really sad and I'm hoping that she kind of, you know, adjusts a little bit better, but I imagine losing your twin is probably a really traumatic experience. Um, we also end up having a glitch where I can't bathe Gwenlian. Thirteen twenty nine arrives, and with it, we have a baby. Yay! Ten more minutes of recording, and the baby's already in my arms again. This is she lasts like ten minutes. So it's actually another birthday today. It is Shaywin's birthday. He's aging up from a preteen into a teen, which is super exciting because I don't have my preteens get married. I don't even know. Like I don't even think that's a possibility. I mean, maybe it is because like they're technically still teens. I don't know. I'll have to look into it. Like if I'm really struggling with mortality rates, like maybe that's something we consider, but I have my Sims be preteens for 14 days and teens for 14. So I just kind of like cut in half the teenage age. And Andre has actually um, mastered the social skill. A lot of the kids have really high social skills as compared to everything else because all they can really afford to do right now is talk. <laughs> so that's something they kind of mastered pretty early. It's at this point that I realized Shaywin can't actually age up using the birthday cake because it's like a trait. So I have to remove the preteen trait. And here he is as a teenager. He looks pretty much the same, just taller. And this is probably what he's gonna look like for the rest of his life as a as an adult. So hopefully we have good things in store for Shaywin. Now I did wanna pop over to the Fleming household real quick because we actually had a birthday yesterday that I totally missed. So today's Friday in the Sim game and on Thursday it was Cadence's birthday. So Cadence is the daughter of Art Fleming and Aureliana Wortham. Aureliana passed away very shortly after Cadence was born. So we're gonna age her up into a toddler today and we'll see how she goes. She's got like a mask on, I'm not sure what's going on with that. Uh, but she ages up with the mean trait because of course she does. I feel like that's more appropriate for Carolina's daughter, honestly, but Aureliana is pretty nice. I don't know where this mean trait is coming from, guys. And she is gorgeous. Like, Cadence is beautiful. I, I'm stunned. I'm absolutely stunned. Like, how did this happen? How did this happen? Oh, so here she is um, in her medieval garb. I, I'm so impressed by her and I'm very interested to see how her personality develops, especially as a mean Sim. Like that's oh. her first formative trait. Like, oh, that is rough guys. That is so rough. Um, so hopefully she doesn't have a hard time. Oh no, don't touch the new mic. Don't touch the new mic. So she is actually really good friends with her father. They've had a really close relationship their whole life since, um, you know, they have lost Aureliana. And, oh, Shaywin likes deception. That actually, that feels appropriate for Shaywin. Like, oh, we'll let that happen. And poor Gregoria is unfortunately building a snowman by herself. I'm kind of hoping that Gregoria and Cadence can kind of like build a bit of like a sisterhood through their cousinhood. Um, just because like Celestina doesn't exactly seem like the most welcoming sim in the Wortham household. So although she does have a sister in Celestina, I just don't think Gregoria and her are particularly um, well suited as friends, you know, so we'll see how this develops. I mean, Gregoria is not a mean sim, so I'm not sure if their personalities are even going to mesh very well, but I figure it's worth trying. 
Back in the main household, we have another round of gruel happening. I mean, this food situation is just absolutely dire. And, oh, hi. Um, she's working on like kneeling, so she's pressing up on her hands a lot, <laughs> which is adorable, but chaotic because she can reach absolutely everything. It's also at this point that I go into the um, family inventory and I discover that we actually have a ton of produce and I don't know where it came from and I feel a little bit cheaty using it, but like, the, where are you going? <laughs> the situation is a bit desperate. So I let them use like eight of each of these pieces of produce and uh, girlfriend, you don't need the mic. She's determined. Um, and then I find a bunch of tea leaves. And although tea leaves aren't exactly like historically accurate in this area, um, instead of using them, I just let them sell it. And we get almost 5,000 simoleons, which is gonna go to Shaywin's inheritance so he can move out and actually get his own piece of property. Where are you going, big girl? You're so big. So we shovel a little bit of snow at the household. Here are the crocuses. I mean, like who designed these? Why are they so big? Crocuses just pop like directly out of the ground. They're so tiny and I love them. They're like grass, but flowers. And this does not encapsulate any of that vibe. It is 5 a.m. and poor Shaywin is outside doing laundry. I'm, this poor man, like, Part of me doesn't want to have him move out ever because he's so useful, but I know that if I don't, he's going to be miserable for the rest of his life, and I really don't want that for him. Like, Shaywin deserves some kind of escape. Also, I totally forgot about the homemade ingredient aspect of this mod. And so we're gonna make some homemade butter and a cheese wheel. And I'm hoping that gives us a little bit more um, ingredients when it comes to cooking around the house. Now that we've got some vegetables again, you know, I feel like we could actually make a couple, oh, really good items. Are we a fussle up? Yes, yes we are. Yes we are. Um, so we can actually make raised meat pies, which I was super excited about and so we have some real food now and I just love the interaction over here making butter I think it's so cool um, so it actually like goes in this little dish and you can delve it out into these like individual little blocks of butter which is super neat so we're gonna go ahead and just like put those in the fridge um, unfortunately <laughs> Not soon enough because the gruel is really hitting these guys. Like, Shaywin and Gregoria both are really unhappy with the kind of present food situations. Oh, yes. And it's like almost 11 a.m. and Shaywin is still doing laundry. I don't know if you guys get this bug where you have to like do the laundry multiple times, but oh, it hits us. It hits us hard in this save. And so he is doing laundry until noon. It, he's exhausted. Like this poor guy has been doing laundry forever. So to thank him for all of his hard work, we um, invite over his love interest and we remove, <laughs> we remove the preteen, preteen trait from her as well so that they can actually kind of like date now. And I do cheat a little bit, like they don't necessarily need romance to get married, um, so I so I do cheat and kind of raise their romance up a little bit. There may have been a better way to do that, like an arranged marriage mod. I think that actually exists. I'm gonna need to download that. And so we formally ask her to be our girlfriend, which, I, which I'm just doing so that we can, you know, propose to her. And so I figure like maybe we give them a little bit of privacy, let them, um, you know, go out by this barn out back and they can kind of like have their first kiss. And there's actually like a first kiss interaction that is um, specifically related to the Soulmates mod, I think. And that's what this is. I had never used it before, so I wanted to test it out. It's a little silly. And like, I had wanted them to have privacy and then lo and behold, his siblings come and involve themselves. You wanna stand? You can stand. So we go ahead and propose. And although they kind of don't like each other, like, 
he has a little bit of an inheritance, and so she's also, like, the third daughter in their house, so she can't exactly be very picky. And oh. Shaywin ends the night with a lot of really good uh, moolets. So that is where we are going to end off today. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. Say bye.